So we're opening up the drain and then getting a look at what's inside. So I see different wrappers, some cigarette butts. So the litter trap there, it's got about a five millimeter, five millimeter size holes. And so it basically traps any litter that goes into the drain from the street. If you take just a casual look at our city streets, by and large, they look pretty clean. But in reality, they're actually full of little bits of things almost everywhere you look. And sooner or later, it's all destined to end up down here. So this prevents the litter from going into Lake Ontario. Chelsea Rockman is an assistant professor at the University of Toronto and co-founder of its trash team. She and her team of interns, with the help of the city, have set up a number of these traps with the goal of analyzing what actually goes through the grates in certain areas. So that's that action. And then we're going to head over to the police station, actually, where we have all of our gear and our students are over there. Right now, we're going to take a look and see what's actually inside that mix of stuff. That's right. So our next step is to start to quantify and characterize exactly what we trapped. And so the information we get from what we collect, so cigarette butts and pre-production plastic pellets and single-use foodware, we get a good idea of the types of materials that we need policy to prevent from going in the water. We're really interested in this summer with these traps in cigarette butts. We find a lot of cigarette butts in the traps. They are made out of plastic, which most people don't realize. The trap that we just saw you open, how many of them are there? Where, where are they located? Yeah, so there's 10, 10 litter traps. They're located from Dan Lecky, right by Bathurst Key on Queens Cape, all the way down to where we just were. Just trying to make a little knot so I can tie, so I can uh, weigh what's in here with the luggage scale. Oh, it's really warm. So now we're just going to sort through this pile and look for any large debris. This is uh, very fragrant, huh? Yeah, yeah, it is, it is very strong smelling for sure. We find a lot of cigarette butts and we find a lot of film and plastic water bottles and plastic bottle caps. So lots of different plastics. And then actually a lot of what we find is also microplastics. This is usually what we mean when we say film. So it's just like a little piece of flexible material like plastic. The team then throws the trash away properly so it doesn't make its way into the water. The Toronto Region Conservation Authority and Ports Toronto are also taking part in the project. On Toronto's waterfront, David Zura, City News.